Hello traders out there in trader land. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade. It's Tuesday, July 12, 2011, and the markets in the day bearish. Check this out. Dow down 59 points, down 0.47%. The S&P down 0.44%. NASDAQ down a whopping 0.74%. Russell's down 0.45%. You have the banks leading the charge all day long, and the markets actually responded quite well to that, and also the Fed minutes. And we have the VIX, the volatility index, spiking another 8%. That is huge. Gold and silver slightly higher. U.S. dollar down, but that didn't help the markets today, especially end of day. The session got really bloody there uh, towards the end. And transportation index way, way down. Crude oil up 1.7%, which is a big pop there. All right, here it is. What we have here is a continuation. We have a lower high, lower low. Because of this, and because we broke this support area at 1316, I am now short the market. I am net to the short side with um, not hardly anything to speak of on the on the long side. The markets did pop. We did expect some sort of pop, but we didn't think it would sustain itself. The, the Fed coming out, a lot of the Fed guys said, hey, man, we might be um, open to some more monetary easing. So that would that basically means a QE3 as being a potential, and the markets rallied to, into that. However, fear came back in. We come crashing down, 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 making a new low, and closing now below the 100-day and the 50-day moving averages, and this big support area for it to bust and close below that. I certainly do not want to be long in that environment. Furthermore, we have a crossover on the MACD center to um, oscillator we have crossed and we're dropping the only bullish thing here is we're above the zero line histogram however we remain in this big symmetrical triangle next stop will be somewhere coming down you'll see that I drew a, a, another trend line this trend line intersects with this swing low right here it goes back into time where this other big thicker trend line develops from right here August going back a, a year ago, coming up right there. So I think if we do drop, that would be a logical area of support. So with that said, the markets look very bearish. We smack that trend line, we come, we're coming down. The question is, where will we find some support? Another area of support that would be an, a logical area would put us about 1305. 1305 would be a very logical area of support. So there you have it. Thank you for the hundreds of people that came to last night's webinar. We had a great time and looking forward to doing this again next month. So thank you for sharing this with your friends. Again, to get the very latest and the best of technical analysis, go to freeonlinetradingeducation.com or just type in freetradingvideos.com. Take care and very safe and smart trading to you.